Hey guys, and welcome to this tech video. My name is Grace, and today we will be going over Voice View, which is Amazon's screen reader, and how it works on the Amazon Fire tablet. So if you're blind like me, and you're looking for something both affordable and accessible, this Fire tablet is a pretty good choice. The one that I have, which is the cheapest one they have now, is the Fire 7, which is $49.99. So for a tablet, that's pretty awesome. And Voice View, I wouldn't say it's the world's greatest screen reader, but it works fairly well. And as somebody who doesn't have any vision whatsoever, I can say that I have had no accessibility issues really. Okay, so I'm just gonna give, for those who have vision, a look, little look at the tablet. All right, so I am gonna face the camera with this. Okay, so um, let's do a physical description so you have a good idea of what it's like. It's very small. This has a seven inch screen. So if you wanna fit it in a pocket and it's big enough, you can. And also it's mostly plastic. That's my nail hitting the back of the tablet, and as you can probably hear, it's, it's all plastic. And it's also pretty durable. I heard that if you drop it a few times, it will last, but I really don't recommend that. That's just something I saw in a video. Okay, so if you have the tablet facing you and it's right side up, and you start on the top left, left on your side um, you'll find the volume bar so it goes from volume down to volume up and then right after that's the headphone jack and then along the top right after that is the charging port which is micro USB and then after that is the lock button and that's also the power button and then if you go down onto the right side is a little flap and if you open it up you'll find a compartment for a micro SD card, which is pretty nice because extra storage. <laughs> what more can I say? All right, without further ado, we're going to turn voiceover, um, voiceover, voice view on. So it's very simple. All you gotta do is press the power button down until you hear an alert tone and then you're gonna put two fingers on the screen and hold them down until it turns on. In other words, this thing is accessible right out of the box. Good on you, Amazon, good on you. All right, so, almost dropped it. All right, I'm gonna press and hold the button. Pull down two fingers. Keep holding down two fingers to enable voice view. Okay. Voice view ready. There's that chime. Accessibility shortcut. Triple press of power button will perform the selected app. Okay, so we're on the accessibility settings screen right now, so I thought we'd go over the voice view settings while we go over some gestures. Kill two birds with one stone. Okay, so if you're familiar with any touchscreen device and screen reader for touchscreens, you'll know then to navigate the screen, you can either do explore by touch, which is sliding your finger along the screen until you found whatever element you want. So I'm gonna do that. Cup color inversion is cup hearing settings. Close cap, close cap, home button. Cup icon, screen voice view screen reader. And then image voice guidance settings. Screen if it'll let you know also if views. you've if you've hit an empty spot on the screen, it'll do this. Accept, accessible. If you if you heard that little Property. think. That's the um, that's the uh, video, empty Alexa, spot Prime indicator. Video, accessibility. Access or you can swipe on the screen. So I'm going to swipe right with one finger. Vision settings. Voice view screen reader. I can Image also go voice. left. Vision settings. But uh, we want voice view settings, so I'm going to swipe right again until voice it says voice view. Voice. And then I'm going to double tap. Voice view screen reader. Voice view. And inside. now the settings are the setting that setting screen is opened. 
Okay, so that, those are the basic gestures. Now, when you first turn this on, a tutorial will come up, and we're gonna take a little look at that, just for a little bit. Braille at voice view tutorial. Okay, you can also connect this to a Braille display, which is great. Voice view tutorial, basic gestures. Okay, so I double tapped the screen to open that. So just to clarify, you can double tap anywhere on the screen after voice view focuses on an element and you'll be fine to open whatever it is. Okay, so we're gonna swipe until we find the lesson that I want to go over real quick. So it's separated by lessons and it'll automatically take you to lesson one once you've first turned this on. But since I've had this for a while now, it is on this text tutorial entry. screen so it's basic gestures text more gestures part one learn how to change granularity okay so there is those separate lessons here and i'm going to double tap on this one which will show you to navigate by well they call it granularity i like to call it the rotor so i'm going to double tap more gestures lesson part one this lesson teaches you how to use granularity and other advanced gestures Granularity allows you to navigate through text or other items by different amounts, such as by character, word, or window. Yeah, so if you're reading a Kindle book and you want to spell out a word or read it word for word instead of um, the window. whole thing, or you want to read it one sentence at a time, you can do that by swiping up and down on the screen. So right now, I'm navigating by character. Window. So if I swipe down, or... Um. Yeah. It's spelled out the, by character. So I'm gonna change that. So if you wanna change that to word or something, you can swipe down and up. The word more. Gestures dash. And as you just heard, it just read the next word. If you want to go the other way, you can swipe up and down. Character. Window. And it just went from character, then it went to character and then to window. You can also character, word, sentence. navigate by sentence, which comes in handy when you're reading a Kindle book. Okay, now if we go to next, previous, but exit, pre next, but this step teach All right, so this one has a fake slider. Now a slider, in case you don't know, is something that you step. use to increase or decrease a certain stat and my battery is low step teaches okay. you so this has a fake slider so we're gonna go to that Previous. swiping Exit. left slider. right now 50%. so you can either swipe up or down Good. Slider. 30%. so i swiped slider. 50%. down and then i swiped up. Swipe up or down. What you can also do is use something that's called the jog wheel. If you double tap the screen and hold and then just quickly draw Don't circles on the screen, it'll also either increase or decrease the slider. So, Adjust. you know, counterclockwise to decrease, clockwise to increase. And it'll, ev it'll even make a clicking noise. If you do it clockwise, Close. it slider. will have a higher pitch clicking, hence increasing. And then if you do a counterclockwise jog wheel, it will do Slider. a lower pitch clicking. So let's check it out. I'm gonna double tap and hold and then do clockwise. And then let's see. I just increased the slider to 100% and then we're gonna double tap and hold and do counterclockwise. Did you hear that low pitch, the lower pitch clicking? That means I decreased it. And let's see where it is at now. Zero percent. Zero percent. There you go. Swipe up or down to adjust. Okay. So now I really don't feel like going through this whole thing. So I'm going to go back. Now to do that, you're going to swipe down, then left. So you make like a backwards L. And you want to do that. We're on now. We're on just the tutorial screen where all the lessons are. You want to do that in a quick motion because if you don't, it will look like it'll it'll think you're doing explore by touch. 
Now let's say I want to go to the home screen. To do that, you want to swipe up and left. And as it said, we're on the home screen. Now, if you don't really like using the gestures much, that's fine. You can use what's called the soft key bar. So I'm going to do explore by touch and home, go to the back, bottom left. Back, back button. There's a back button, home button, home button app switcher, and button. the app switcher button. So that is for if you want to switch between different apps that you've opened or close whatever apps are running in the background. Now that soft key bar is not always going to be there. If you have a Kindle book up, you're going to want to use the gestures. No soft key bar there. Alright, so there's one more thing that I want to show you that's really cool that I actually just discovered a week ago. So I'm going to tap on this app switcher button, I'll double tap to be exact, to activate. All right, so let's Double go back to settings. settings. Voice view screen reader, voice view tutorial. All right, so right now I'm on the voice view settings and we wanna go back. So to do that, again, we're gonna go down then left. Accessibility, voice view screen reader, manage voice guidance settings, including turning voice view on. All right, so now I'm gonna swipe left. Vision settings, color correction. Hearing settings, heading Hold on. 10 of 17. General heading. Okay, so seven. focus just went a little out of whack. I'm on the t on the first thing here. Navigate up. G accessibility shortcut. Triple press of power button will perform the selected action. Heading 2 of 17. Okay, so if you heard that, triple pressing the power button, you can set that to turn voice view on or off. So I have that set right now. So I'm, if I triple press the power button right now, voice view exiting. It's voice view is off. And then I'm going to turn it back on. Voice view ready. And Exit. voila, it's it's on. It's back on. All right. So that confuses that can concludes today's video. I'll be seeing you in a future video and hope you found this interesting and thank you for watching. See you later.